So thank you for attending our editor day here today, Maxim Korea. Um, just a couple highlights for Maxim overall, as we're roughly 30 years old. Um, we're almost 40, 31 years old now, but 30 years old on that side. We actually have 30 technology centers all worldwide. And so um, we have a technology center here in Korea. So in addition to this office of sales, applications, customer operations, we also have research and development located within Korea. And we're a fairly large company. We have $2.4 billion in revenue. How it goes. <laughs> if you have any questions, let us know. And I said, so when Maxim first started, we were a very innovative analog company. And I said, so we made many single function analog ICs like power supplies, interface ICs, signal conversion. And they were you know, perceived in the market as being very innovative on that side. Um, over the last couple of years, the market has demanded that we start to take those functions and put them together in an integration strategy. So a couple of years ago, we rebranded Maxim Integrated Products to Maxim Integrated to focus on this market dynamic where you don't just sell a single power supply anymore, but you want to combine that power supply with maybe some RF capability or wireless capability, maybe some interface capability, maybe some, some signal conversion capability. And then we also have a very balanced business model in terms of the end markets that we participate in. So in addition to automotive, we also have a large mobility business. Um, we're also very focused on industrial and medical and communication sector also. So if you look at the analog market from the early days to today, originally there was many single function analog circuits produced. And if you look today at maybe one of the large distributors such as Avnet, there may be over 40,000 analog devices on their line card, individual components. And so it's very difficult for customers to determine which product is right for their application. And so what we're seeing in the market is, is customers are demanding that we put these multiple functions together so that we can reduce the size, the power, and improve the functionality and performance of these analog circuits. And so we're seeing this not only in automobiles as, as, as they become more intelligent with all of the new advanced driver assistance systems, but also it relates to industrial, mobility, and healthcare also. So not only are these market dynamics present in automotive, but they're actually in all markets. So mobility, it's great to have in our company because it really helps us with our drive to produce and innovate new technologies. But all the markets that Maxim participates in now have the same requirements is what the mobility market is driving us to in terms of everything needs to be smaller in size, consume less power, be higher performance, must be easy to use for the, for the engineers to be able to design it in, it must have good reliability, high security, and then obviously it needs to be at the right price point for the value to the customer. So if you look at a automobile from maybe 20 years ago, the radio was maybe just AM, FM, and maybe a cassette player. And then you look today, full center stacks with displays. There's also telematics and connectivity for always on 4G connections in the car. Touch panels are now very popular in the middle of the stack. And not only do they do your multimedia, but they'll also do navigation. They'll also maybe control the heating, ventilating, air conditioning vents in the car, many other functions in terms of their, their side. One of the new popular features that's coming is a lot of the advanced driver assistance systems or ADOS systems. And one of the most popular for that is 360's round view parking, which labels then turns into maybe assisted parking or, or self parking within a car. Obviously, navigation in big cities um, like Seoul is very critical on that side. And then what's really new and is coming is just all the smartphone innovation that needs to be brought into the car. And we just kind of signified that by streaming music uh, services. 
So based on that, within the next five years, you will see probably in-CD players will no longer be in cars because everyone will have a digital streaming music. The new area for electronics and high performance analog and automobiles is in these advanced driver assistant systems or ADOS systems within this. Not only are these technologically interesting, but they also have a sociological benefit in terms of you can reduce the number of accidents and fatalities on cars. And then LED lighting. Many of the OEMs use that either on the exterior or on the interior of the car for branding purposes on that side too. And we actually will have a demonstration a little bit later today from a headlight from an Acura device that uses Maxim technology on that side too. But LED lighting will continue to become very popular in automotive. We also will have a demonstration later today about the always-on connectivity that we're helping to enable with an automobile with our RF and wireless technology that we have. So we'll talk about that later today. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring real-world connectivity to the car, which then you can bring all the multimedia experiences that you have, you know, very similar to what you can get on your smartphone device, will now be able to be easily implemented in the automobile. And it's going to just make the consumer experience that much better. So Maxim is really focused on four emerging applications within the automobile. So this represents all the new safety systems or advanced driver assistance systems in the car. This represents all the new capabilities that are coming in the infotainment space. This orange icon represents the new smart key or keyless go access that we will demonstrate later today. And then the green represents the revolution that's happened in the powertrain as cars go from internal combustion engines and they migrate to either EVs or hybrid type powertrains. So the automobiles are becoming much more complex as OEMs try to put in the functionality that the consumers want. There's many more electrical control units or ECUs in the car and so that's where we bring, with our integration capability, value to the automotive market, to the OEMs and the Tier 1 suppliers because we're able to take multiple functionalities, integrate them into a single IC for that ECU, and help keep the number of electrical control units in the car at a manageable level while still increasing the amount of capability within a car. And then obviously within the automotive market, safety is a requirement because not only are you dealing with the actual product, but there's also lives. All of us are consumers of automobiles, and we have families, and we want to make sure that they all stay safe. And so the way that that must be done is through high reliability in our integrated circuits. And so we've adopted within Maxim a zero defect mentality uh, within our automotive market, and this actually applies through all of the integrated circuits that we supply no matter what the market is um, when we go in there. And so, you know, basically for the automotive requirements, you must have very high yields, very good process control, driving all kind of defects or issues down to where there's actually, we call it zero PPM or actually, you know, no defects and no failures within our integrated circuits. So if you look at all the different products and where everything is evolving, in terms of the car. So we have here kind of some infotainment applications that Maxim helps services. And so from here, this is kind of the center stack navigation screen. Um, clusters is a new area of technological innovation within the car when your actual speedometer becomes an, hour, an actual display that you can configure on that side too. And then obviously uh, rear seat entertainment not only for movies, but also in Asia, TV is all very popular too within the automobile. So these are just some of the products and some of the applications that Maxim helps enable within the automotive market. 